Hi, Mr. Greg, back again for lesson three of three. We are going to do some word duality today. This is a lesson that I really like, but I'm going to give you a prompter right now. You might find this a little bit more difficult than the other lessons that we've gone through. Again, Mr. G, LOL, love of lettering, word duality lesson plan. So let's go again over materials. Ruler, pencil, Sharpie, either colored pencils or colored markers. In word duality, we are going to pick some words that have two meanings. Like the first example I give you is black American. And I'm also gonna ask you guys to give a definition of what the duality or what the word inside the word means to you. So with black American, you can see that it underscored the I in red and highlighted um, can in red. So for me, being a black American, I can do anything. That would be the prompter that I would give for this um, graphic piece that I made. And then another example that I'm gonna show you guys is I pick the word fairness. Um, with the highlighted word being air, and at least in my opinion, um, fairness is like air. We all know it, it exists, but it's seldom seen. Again, I want you guys to approach it like this. I need to know what your word is and what it's defined to you. I'm asking you guys to go a little bit deeper than I've asked you to go in the past. I'm gonna give you one example and then we're gonna build up one too. And I'm also gonna give you a list of some words that have words within them. And you notice that the words spell out completely. I would like to see that with that. I wouldn't, don't wanna see red U with a red B with a red A. Um, I want to have the word spell completely. And I, this word I chose was upbeat because I feel if you're upbeat, you eat life. And here I wanna give you guys some words that um, have words within them. Um, and I'm gonna post a, a list of words up there. It's not the end all de facto list. There's many of words that you guys can come up on your own that I haven't listed, but I am gonna name a few of those and get you the words that I was able to find within those words. So the first word I'm gonna start off with is grind. And I was able to find the word grin with that, out of that. So if, you know, if I was going to put a prompter or a statement to that, I might say that I grin when I'm on the grind. Um, being a person that likes to work more than not, um, I always look at that as being a good thing. Um, idle time um, isn't always the best thing for me. But anyway, let's go on with some more words. Um, splurge, and with the word urge, in there, it's well completely up. Slovenly with the word love in there. Um, tricky with the word icky. Um, sight with the word sigh. Crystal with the word cry. Um, fundamentalist with the word mental. Uh, feminist with the word is. Um, and that's a few examples. Again, there is a full list for you guys up there. And again, it's not a complete list. You, you guys can use a dictionary or a thesaurus to um, figure out what other words that you might wanna be able to find that would have that dual autonomy to them. Again, you can use as for materials on this. You could type up different fonts on the computer if you have access to that. But I'm gonna show you um, how to build up a letter form by the same way that we built it up the last time. So I'm gonna start off with the straight line. I'm gonna choose the word black um, and drop my letter forms out of that word. So we're gonna start off the same way that we always do with drawing our lined letters.
And again, remember that this is just a sketch. Um, this is your start, um, not your end. And again, you might have to do some erasing on this. Okay, so starting to get your letters into a block form, I was able to start to build up my word, which is black, that I did in my own um, typography or my own font. And for this word, I would say that being black shouldn't mean that you feel that you're in lack or at lack to anyone else. Um, thank you again for listening to all three of my lesson plans and watching them. Um, this is Mr. Greg, and I just want to say thank you for your time. Thank you.